<laughs> I really want to kill him. <laughs> well, join us as we venture on a very first cruise. We're currently in Southampton and we're about to take a short trip uh, with PO on the ship Aurora. Yes, a last uh, minute cruise too. Yeah. I've got no idea what to expect, but luckily Mel has done some research. Yes, I have. So let's go and see what this cruise in Lark is all about. Yes. Or should I say? All aboard. All aboard. Boop, How do you feel, Mel? Nervous. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's, totally it's all different. these new, all these new systems, and to top it all, the wing mirror on my car is faulty now as well. Oh, worry about <laughs> Let's join the queue. It looks quite a big queue, though. That was easier. It was much easier than flying, wasn't it? Yes, definitely. So, and they were friendly as well. Yeah. So that makes a change. Hello, come this way. This is the boat. Oh, oh, well, well, we're on board, Mel. We have to go to Muster Station, what? E, whatever mustering involves. Well, we've made it to our cabin, A268. I didn't film much coming on, because it was really fast moving, wasn't it? Mm. So I'll go over that again, but it was really quick. There was no hanging around at all on 268. So we got this now. Let's have a look. What we got, what we got? Oh, cruise cards. cruise cards. Welcome to Aurora map. So let's take a look. Oh, it's okay actually. So we're in. We're in. Yeah. First impressions. That was pretty simple to get on board. Yeah. To get in, wasn't it? To get on board. Yeah, the security was like 10, 15 minutes? airport security. So I wish I, I wore trainers, had boots on, I'd take them off and, and tie all the laces. But no worries about <laughs> liquids or anything, are there? No. No, it's well liquid, uh, enough to take any liquids out. We mustard. First time I ever mustard. He just, he just told us where to go if an event of an emergency. Yeah. And that was it, basically. And now we're going to watch a video on, on our screen in our room about what to do. The room isn't as bad. It's a basic balcony room, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. Quite traditional. I would say three and, three and a half stars, three and a yeah. half, four stars. It's a little bit scratchy around the edges, but otherwise it's quite nice. It mm. looks very clean. Yeah, because this ship is like 23 years old. Yeah, it looks very clean. And, so, and it's not a big ship. No. I'm glad we're on one of these because I was getting lost already. <laughs> I couldn't cope with an inside cabin. No. A bit it's claustrophobic. Well, yeah. But I think it'll be fine when we shut But the air conditioning yeah. doesn't come on with the door of the balcony open. No, so but it looks clean, it's nice in a very traditional way. Yeah. The bathroom isn't up to the rest of the room, I don't think. Too okay. It, it is fine. It's very travel lodgy. It is a British ship. Got We've got tea and, coffee. tea and coffee and a proper kettle. The thing is, this is all new to us. UK plugs on P&O ships. What's that, Mel? There's a comedian on tonight. A dirty one. No, I don't think it's that dirty. 
think you should be kids entertainers, you can't be that dirty. Michael Bublé experience. Oh, is it Michael Bublé? Oh, I love a bit of Michael Bublé. I don't. Headliners Theatre Group present Top of the Billboards. One for you, Marcus. So there's the map where up here somewhere. We're under the restaurant, aren't we? Mm. That's why it spells the chips in the room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but hopefully we won't get too much noise. We've got a fridge for some booze. A lot of the restaurants, the food's included. However, there are some specialty restaurants. Uh, Cinder with the Indian we wanted to go to. We managed to get a book in. Um, we could only book as we were on the ship through the My Holiday p and website. However, we couldn't we couldn't book for the Beach House, which is another speciality restaurant. These are ones you have to pay extra for because it's fully booked already. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the chance I suppose you have to take with a, a ship that's two thousand. Normally, on other cruises, you can book in advance. Yeah, yeah. For but some reason, you can't on the Aurora. I think because we're only like a four-day cruise as well. Yeah, perhaps. But I'm going to maybe try later on and go to the restaurant itself and see if they've got anything. I think they've got some spaces for walking. By the way, the noise you can hear, we've got the door open <laughs> and they're still loading the ship. Yeah. <laughs> so we can have a go and explore now, Marcus? Yeah, let's go and explore the ship. Okay. So that's our floor 11. Let's go up and check out all this on the top deck. We just went past the buffet and it's really busy at the moment. So this is the crystal bar and the crystal pool. It's all very exciting, Marcus. I feel such an amateur. <laughs> There's people there with cocktails by the pool already. I know. Oh, the sun's coming out as well. Oh, that's good, oh, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, and it's nice and calm. I bet we won't that's be because we haven't left the port yet. No, no. <laughs> we won't be at Amica by tomorrow. No, yeah. I feel like we've got a, quite a steep learning curve. <laughs> it does feel a bit like oh, we've travelled all over the world. Look, sun. We've travelled all over the world, but we've never been on a cruise. It is. It's quite exciting because it's so mm. new. Busy, isn't it? Mm. It's very yeah. busy. This is a small ship and it's. Yeah, I'm glad we're doing guests. a four day on this smaller ship. I think a bigger ship will be overwhelming. No. Imagine if you fall at the entrance of the buffet, you'd be trampled. <laughs> I never thought of that. So I'm now at the pointy end of the ship. The, <laughs> the, front, part, yeah, the front part. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can wind up all the regular cruisers <laughs> by using terms like the Aurora instead of just Aurora. Been told off and uh, referred to the bits of the ship, front, pointy end, yeah. and the back end. Yeah, one thing, right. Mel, like I said, I didn't do any research for this, but Mel went online and joined a few Facebook groups, and they were the rudest bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so don't be put off by some of these Some Facebook groups are really helpful, yeah. really nice though. Yeah, some groups are, but a couple of them we went on. A right bunch of... Uh, I hope we don't meet those on the cruise. They're us. <laughs> so this is Alexandria's, the main dining room. So now we're in like Champions, the sports bar type thing. This is the casino. It's quite small apparently compared to American cruise ships. Mel's checking out the roulette. So there's another bar there, Anderson's, and a little area. Is that Charlie's little lounge bar? It's got piano. Mm. <laughs> so this, that's where the band plays when it starts to sink. Oh, don't say that. You promised you wouldn't say that. I promise. I'm sorry. And also on deck seven, 
this is the promenade deck. I think you can walk around the ship then. Get your exercise, get your steps in. So this is another bar, the Glass House. Is it a restaurant? Yeah. Okay. And, and you can have wine flights there. Okay. I stand corrected. It's a restaurant and wine bar, isn't it? Yeah. I'm excited, are you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, excuse. So excuse us, especially if you're a hardened cruiser. It's our first time. It's the first time you see all these things. Imagine, yeah. In a British way of a Vegas hotel. Yeah. With with lots of things to do. Like a small Vegas hotel, yeah. yeah. But in a very British mm. way. You could tell it's British by the volume <laughs> level. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it is a toned down version of a, a US <laughs> casino. This is us being excited. My excited face. Anyway, should we go upstairs to the. Okay. I think there's that place, you said the Crow's Nest Bar. Yeah. Should we go and have a look at that? Yeah. We found another bar, the Crow's Nest, right at the very front of the ship. <laughs> now, as a quick look around, our first cruise ship ever. So tonight, mm -hmm. I was going to take you with us, but we're sharing a table with six others, so maybe not. No, <laughs> maybe not. So maybe you could take pictures of the food. Anyway, our adventure continues. Stay with us because we're going to sail away and we're going to be at sea tomorrow. Oh. So the something a bit new. <laughs> yeah, we can cope with this because it's uh, still in port. But what's it going to be like when it's moving? We the weather forecast is okay. I think it'll be alright. May not be sunny all the time, but mm. the sea state is relatively calm. There's Mel enjoying an evening cocktail. Courtesy of Marks and Spencer's. Cosmo. We haven't left mm. port yet. No. Romantic Southampton in the sunset. It's day today. So we just had dinner, an we early did. dinner. Yeah. That was really nice, wasn't it? Was it was alright, yeah. Considering it's mass catering, it wasn't too bad, was we had it? Caesar salad, steak and pavlova. So at the moment, it's sunset. Very romantic. Over the Solent. We've just left Southampton. Anyway, take a look. And you can't really tell you're moving either, can you? you so we're going to sign off, get a few drinks and go and see some a crappy comedian. comedian. <laughs> it could be really good. I'm sorry to the comedian. It probably could be really good. We're going to see some comedian. So. Better than you. So, unless I've chucked Mel overboard by tomorrow, see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. Good morning. That was our first night. Sleep well? I did actually. You woke up and it's like the fog out there. <laughs> and we're going quite slow as well because of the fog. Take a look at this. The sun's starting to break through now, so it's not so bad. Mm. And because we're going slow, the sea is really calm, but there is a swell 
we can feel a movement bit of, of motion, yeah, yeah. motion of the ship. So we just take, pop the travel tablet just in case. Yeah. Anyway, we forgot to mention Ooh, yeah. where we're going on the cruise. We were so excited yesterday about all the facilities and running around the ship. We're off to Zeebrugge to go to Bruges. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, a bit of rocking there. A bit of rocking. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to go to. We were meant to be going to France, but they're on strike, so we're going to Guernsey, and back to Southampton for one, four right. nights. Yeah. That'll be all right. So we're going to get our steps in and get some breakfast. We're at the buffet, and it's half past eight, but the clocks have gone forward, and it's relatively calm, isn't it, Mel? Yeah, it's quiet. So I'll see if I can film some of the food, but I get a bit uncomfortable filming other people at the buffet. So. Uh, I'll show you my breakfast when it arrives. Ice buns, they look nice. A healthy start. And Mel's got equally as healthy, but I'm sure the grease is going to come soon. <laughs> have we looked at the fried breakfast yet? Yeah, I don't know if I've coped with that this morning actually. I might just have a bacon sandwich. So there's my first round. Sausage, bacon, fried bread. Oh Heart attack, here I come. Mal thinks we're gonna be sick after that. We'll see. Quite a lot of quite a lot of selection. But on the hot buffet though, I didn't see much for vegetarians. I couldn't see a vegetarian sausage or anything like that. If I carry on eating the fried bread, I'll be about 25 stone by the time I get off the ship. Yes, it looks a little fresh at the moment, doesn't it? Hey, it's sunny on this side of the ship. Sizes, we're getting hours on the promenade deck. We're going to try and work off that breakfast by doing a few laps. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's a weird patch of fog drifting across the sea, like the start of the incredible shrinking man. There's an apparition of a ship coming through the fog. A ghost ship. That's a weird, isn't it? strange. Well, the sea day continues. I've just fallen asleep in the cabin, but Mel's gone line dancing, and then she's going to go to a singing class. So. She's been active. I'm doing nothing. Actually, I'm going to sit on the balcony because that fog has cleared. Let's take a look. I may not have mentioned, but tonight is the black tie night. We're getting all dressed up for dinner. One thing which is odd, Mel keeps singing My Heart Will Go On <laughs> by Celine Dion for some reason. I'm not going to sleep all afternoon. At quarter past two we've got 
a music quiz. So I think we'll enter that. Oh, it's fresh. Oh, it's fresh. We're getting some fresh air. <laughs> oh, racing. Anyway, we just come out of the pub quiz, music quiz thing, mm -hmm. haven't we? Yeah, quite a respectable score. Twenty-nine out of forty. Not too two bad. There's only two of us. I can't believe we got the Rolling Stones wrong. Well, you had the Rolling Stones right as the band, but not <laughs> the song, Marcus. What are you doing? <laughs> I said to you, it was Brown Sugar as well. Oh. I'm a bit embarrassed that you knew the Ed Sheeran song, though. Anyway, a respectable score. I think I'll have to divorce you for that one. For twenty-nine out of forty. Ooh, well look at us in the fancy clothes. The reason my suit looks a bit odd because I put my arm out to hold the camera, so it does fit me, so, so write in comments below. And yes, I know my top button's undone. I haven't done it up yet because this shirt's really tight. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's formal night tonight. Yes. Or as they call it, celebration night. Celebration night. You have to dress up and then Men go. Men are supposed to wear a jacket and tie. Jacket they? and tie, yeah. You don't have to wear a dicky bow and all that nonsense but you or can if you want to <laughs> just a jacket and tie no they, they did say you can wear your military uniform I saw one in the shop in town that antique shop it had oh. a German <laughs> like a, a low hello German officer I don't think that's appropriate maybe not appropriate no. but we're not going to take the camera to, to video because we're just going to enjoy tonight mm -hmm. and we're eating in the same restaurant as last night it's supposed to be a bit of a nicer menu Alexandria a, a celebration menu tonight yeah the only problem with this they put us on allocated dining quite early half past six half past six we don't normally eat until about eight yeah so a bit early for us a little bit early but, but at least more time for drinking afterwards <laughs> I want to see Michael Bublé yeah we're going to see Michael Bublé I don't think it's the real one no no I don't think so mm. Anyway, we'll take some photographs of tonight okay. and they should be coming up. If I have taken them, they're coming up <laughs> next. 